What up, people? Welcome back to the Joe McFoe Show. My name is Jordan, and we are going to be doing some drawing today. I want to uh, say welcome back to all those who have missed me the last week. I was gone. I was on a trip. Uh, but hopefully you guys didn't miss me too much, or if you did, well, you'll get your fix now. So let me know what you guys are up to in the chat. How have you been this week? I'm going to start with the music, get that playing, and then I'm also going to share my screen right quick. One moment. Okay. Is the music actually playing? I can't even hear anything. All right. Kathy is on. What's up, Kathy? Manette is on. Megan is on. Everyone's here. Excellent, excellent. Well, not everyone, but some of y'all are here. So thank you guys for coming on. Today, we're going to be continuing with some of the props for Shadow Boxers. So um, these obviously are not props, what I drew here. Uh, these are the characters for the Cypher comics. So we have Javen on the left, Zalam, Cairo, and Enzi. I think the last stream we finished him up, and he actually came out to be pretty good. So I'm feeling pretty confident with the design choices. Uh, I think they all look rather unique and rather fun. So we're going to see how, how that all plays out. Uh, now, there's a few things that we can work on. So first off, we can finish up the backpacks. You guys remember that we drew some backpacks a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I started to do the line art for them, but I think I just had something to do, so <laughs> I never finished them. So I could finish those up. The other thing, too, I have to do two more props in my mind that I can think of specifically for this comic. One, I need to design a new necklace for Javen. The other is I need to design a taser gun. So out of these three options here, I'm gonna write I'm gonna write them down. So first off, we have uh backpack. And I'm not saying we we might even get to multiple of them today. It's possible. Um so Javen necklace. And then three is what I say, taser gun. I don't know if tasers, I think tasers are the mess, yeah. So what do you guys in the chat want to see? Do you guys want to see me work on option one, two, or three? At least first. Um, Amanda's in the chat. What's up, Amanda? Taser gun. Let's do them all. Taser. All right. So we're going to work on the taser gun. We got two votes already. So, yeah, you guys already saw how I came up with the backpack. Honestly, from here, it would probably be kind of boring. Unless, you know, I do colors. And I guess I could do that. We'll just see. But, yeah. So in that case, we're going to start the taser gun just based on your your opinions here. Um now the the taser is going to be interesting because it uses some of their powers uh that they're, they're associated with that so first things first let's get a a couple of references so i'm going to go on pinterest here and i typed in a taser and we're just going to see i want it to be more um you know more like a like a stun gun taser gun type of thing so something like this is probably going to be close to what it looks like oops Let's see. What's everyone going uh, going next working on tonight? I assume that just means what's everyone working on tonight? Yeah, that's a good great, good question that I probably should have asked. What are you guys all working on tonight? Are you guys doing your own projects? Are you guys doing something fun? Are you, uh, re are, are you regretting the fact that it's Sunday and that it's a work day tomorrow? Let me know what you guys are experiencing today. taser gun here so the taser gun is uh is for one of the not not for the main characters i will say it's for one of the guards uh in this uh in this story so uh they have an interaction with a guard and you know it gets kind of serious and they they pull this little guy out or this, they pull this little object out so it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of uh kind of wild and see uh taser gun let's see let's type in concept art let's see what happens when we google this it doesn't have to be something that's super complex it only is going to show up in maybe two or three shots i think um so it doesn't have to be something that i belabor uh necessarily but i do want to have it at least look consistent in the world of shadow boxers which is kind of strange because you know it's such a if the world like is still being developed technically you consider all the uh uh all the things associated with it so 
Sorry, hold on. I'm about to start repeating myself. Um, when I consider all the things that are associated with this world, this project, uh, there's so much that still just needs to be done and figured out. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It'll be fun. Um, checking my props board here. I don't remember why I had the Thanos blood for, <laughs> uh, but apparently that was important to me at some point. Oh, this is kind of what is this? But I like it. The fun part about doing concept art is it doesn't necessarily have to look like anything that is in our world. You do want to keep it close enough to be able to associate with, uh, with reality, with real life, but don't necessarily have to stick to all the rules. It's very liberating in that sense, but it can also add quite a bit of pressure to get something that looks cool and different, but also is specific enough where, um, where people will not be questioning what it is that you're drawing or working on. So yeah, let's see. I'm doing a more intuitive painting slash drawing thunderstorm inspired. I start a new job tomorrow and I've been too stressed to work on much. So earlier I was watching and organizing my water cause. Ooh, congratulations on the new job. That is exciting. Um, that's awesome. Annette. I've been working on chores all day. Not sure what I should do art wise. I feel that. I definitely feel that. Um, chores. Nope. Not today. <laughs> yeah. I, I had to do some a couple chores. I had to go grocery shopping and stuff, but, um, uh, Hey, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. But I had a good lunch today. Just came from lunch with some good friends of mine. So yeah, that was a, a good highlight of the day. Um, hmm, is that much? Let me see. Take, um, okay. Yeah, like these are kind of cool. I always like these shapes. And you, oh, I just thought about something. In Urbance, they have uh, a type of gun. I could use that for inspiration. So let me pull out my art book. I'm so glad I scanned this. I, I have the actual book, but I tend to scan all my stuff because I don't want to just have stacks and stacks and stacks of things. So yeah, doing some graphic design, my passion. It is actually your passion, though, unironically. So that's dope. That's dope. Um, okay, where is the prop that I'm looking for? These are not the props I am looking for. Um, let's see. I'm just going to scroll through this book and hopefully come across it. This isn't breaking any sort of copyright law by me going through the whole book, is it? <laughs> I don't I don't think it is. I guess for educational purposes and reference, so I should be fine. I'm not trying to resell this. Plus, I'm not making any money <laughs> off of this thing. So I guess it's fine. Um, where is it? There's a specific like laser gun that they have in this project, and I just don't know where it is. Worst case scenario, I'll just look it up on Google. Ah, here it is. Here it is. The LD laser gun. Yeah, real cool shapes here. You can see all the design concepts. So yeah, let's uh let's just screenshot this. Actually, I want to read the description. It says LD laser gun is a handgun, but also an assault rifle in its full version for the design. I took my inspiration from the dynamic and edgy shapes of the Urbans logo. I asked Sebastian to do a 3D model to fully understand the volumes and then finalized by applying proper colors and shaders. Okay. So that's actually really cool. They, they looked at the logo and came up with this design. That is pretty dope. So, you know what? We could take a cue from, from that. Why not take the shadow boxers logo and do that? Let's just see. Why not? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. Go back to the shower boxes folder. Logo. Bam. Okay. I think I think
think we got enough to at least start with some some sketches. Let's see. Man, this is good on you, Kathy. I don't understand a passion for graphic design, but I appreciate it. Kerning. Oh, yeah. So much kerning. I'm drawing alligators, just graphite and paper back to my roots. You know what? Sometimes getting back to your roots is all that you need to do. It's all that's needed. All right. So haven't even really sketched much today. So this is going to be interesting. Um, I think the best way to go about this is to just sketch everything side from the side view and uh, and just work with that. Obviously, I could do a three quarter front view and stuff like that. But for now, let's just keep it real simple. So I'm looking at the logo right now, trying to kind of get the overall silhouette i don't know if this will make a whole lot of sense in the long run but you know it's worth giving it a shot i guess yeah this isn't gonna be sleek enough for what i want to do that's all right though iterization iterization so like i said um this stun gun or laser taser i mean uh let's write some notes down it's going to be Primarily orange and black. It's meant for guards, so it's probably going to have more sleek look to it. Um, it's going to be high tech. Yeah. And then... If I can have it sleek, but also with triangles, that would look cool. Like, or just like sharp edges like this, for example, feels nice. That still looks nice. Um, something like this also, or even this one here. Let's see what happens if I morph. some details here i kind of like the big like triggers that are kind of oops by the way kind of like this i always like that look anyone been watching x-men 97 i have not i've never been a huge x-men guy not just because i've uh I don't like it or something like that. I never really pay much attention to them because my love has always been the one and only Spider-Man. Yeah. Haven't watched, but I've heard good things. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm out of touch. I'm out of touch. I have so much to catch up on, guys. It's actually very sad. It's very, very sad. I should know all the current stuff. I'm actually very curious to see the state of animation over the next couple of years because um, I've been watching videos on what's happening in the industry and it is not looking super positive. I got to say, I got to say it is it's looking rather rough out there. A lot of people I know who work in the industry, whether it's games, animation, are having trouble finding work right now. And uh, yeah, I. I know that struggle. I know that struggle is not not easy. Okay. So I'm trying to get some of these like angles like you see in the S here for shadow boxers. I'm trying to see if I can mimic that. And then maybe There's definitely going to be some sort of like LED effect on there. I mentioned it was going to be orange too. So let's see, maybe if I do something like this, we can actually kind of look at it and see it from a different, different perspective, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, so that's one. This would be a good place to start putting in more of the SB logo, changing the design up a bit. Hmm. Might be a little much, but it's getting there. Oh, I kind of like this right here. I didn't notice this like lightning bolt thing. So it makes me think. I wonder if I can put the insignias in here. That would actually be pretty dope. Let's let's pull that out. The insignia is designed by the wonderful Kathili, who is in the chat over here. Designed these awesome insignias for us. And we're going to see if we can use them. Or at least the one that is represented by this particular weapon. Let's see. Oh, there's totally a way to do this. I just got to figure it out. Got to figure out the method, but I know there's a way. Where there is a will, there is a way, and I'm going to find that way. Maybe something like this. I could take the bottom of this here. Just kind of plop it at the bottom like that. Or something like this. There's a number of ways we can we can get away with it. I kind of like it at the bottom right here. Or better yet, let me actually try one more option. Let's do this. Okay, copy that. Notes together here, bam, and then sketches. Okay. Hmm. See, so, yeah, I wonder if there's a way to kind of make this look really cool. There's something here. I don't think I figured it out just yet, but there is gonna have to be something. I've decided. Or I can mimic its shape down here or something. I'm just making stuff up now at this point. Let me move on to a different sketch. The Shiloh insignia, the uh, the Petraz insignia specifically. Um, but I think you probably figured that out. Have you thought about using your comic when it's finished and make it like a light, like a action comic video on a platform like YouTube? What do you mean an action comic video? Can you just be more specific? Um, our gal Kathili. You are, you are amazing, Kathili. I agree. I agree. Kathy's dope. Kathy deserves her flowers. Megan does too. Both of, you, both of you guys have been super supportive of Shadow Boxers throughout the entirety of it, long before I ever put anything on YouTube. So you guys are dope. I appreciate you immensely. Um, all right. So let's try another, another sketch. All right. This one, let's just try something a little bit more straightforward. Try something interesting for the trigger here. I don't know the different names for gut, like for the gun. Like I probably should know them.
And actually, even from the side, it kind of looks like the little prism there. Yeah, it looks like all the little tasers that I'm looking at probably have a little piece like this sticking out. I don't know if I want that necessarily, but like the, the tongs or not tongs. But, you know, I need to find out what the anatomy of a taser gun is. That probably help a lot. Let's see. Blast doors, safety switch, trigger. Targeting laser and flashlight, battery life, sights. I don't think I need to go that in depth for all this stuff, but um, okay. So that's for the wires, trigger, battery, safety switch. So I'm definitely gonna need a safety switch. Uh, the way these work is not by battery, so I don't think I'll need that. Um, but let's see. Safety switch. I'm pulling the gun. Safety's probably gonna be up here somewhere in this region. I don't have anything that looks like a gun, um, <laughs> but maybe I could do something like. It'd be cool to have like a thumbprint thing here, so that when you place your thumb there, it just it just knows like, hey, don't don't shoot anything. Is the same. This is your safety. Just from my own internal logic, like it doesn't have to be something that everyone else knows or recognizes, but it's, it's fun for continuity purposes. Okay, and then we'll have our little sight thing here. This is probably too angled, so let's move this over. Ah. So this is probably maybe a little bit longer. I'm trying to think about like where the hand's gonna be placed and everything. Matter of fact, let's do this. Um, and the thumb. That feels about right. Um, oh, I missed quite a bit. Uh, let's see. I was thinking Shiloh because it's the security in Shiloh, even though the taser uses orange. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I'll think about it. Action comic edited with voiceover work. Oh, that's what you mean. Uh, hmm. Maybe. Maybe. If I find some good voice actors, I can't do all the voices. <laughs> Certainly, I, I could get AI to do it, I guess, technically. Um, Chris, what's up, man? Thank you for coming on the stream. Uh, or even just give edit effects like shaking panels for emphasis, etc. You know, I think that would be uh, would be fun, actually. I, you know, keep in mind, I've always wanted to be in animation. So um, anything that feels remotely like that, I'm always going to be interested in it. So yeah, I'll definitely give it a look. Jordan, you can also look up Psychopath Dominator. I know Megan will understand. Oh, is this another, this little, another little inside thing? Psychopath Dominator. Ooh, what's this from? Ooh, yeah, this looks cool. I want to see how it looks like what guys using. Oh yeah. Okay. So let me pull this. Great reference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I could definitely have a version where this kind of goes extreme mode. <laughs> I think that would actually be pretty cool. Um, Mass Effect has some cool pistol designs too. It may might be a bit spacey. You know, let's look. Let's look. Uh, Mass Effect. Ooh, 
Yeah, I think this will be good reference, at least for the future. Oh, this is this is a good shape. This is a good shape. I like how this is looking. Let's try this. Okay, let's move that over here. All my references are massive now. I need to scale this back, I think. Okay, let's pull out shadow boxers over here. Sketches. Okay, you can go up here. The Shiloh logo let's see we're gonna have to color it black when i pull it in here i think or actually i should be probably working on a background that's not pure white so that might help too Let's see. Morgan Beam has been posting small comic actions to her Instagram. Uh, Kathy, I've seen some YouTube channels that do that for the Avatar comics, for example. Oh, okay. Wait, that's another hydration check. That's another one. Okay. Um, Kathy says yes. <laughs> or Megan says, Kathy, yes. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Um, open to it. I thought it would be super cool if someone wanted to do voice work that we would do an AMAC with it. Yeah, I would I would love that. Um, honestly, in ideal situation, if I could not get, um, you know, a fully animated thing is to do a really complex animatic and just get voice work done for it. I think that would be super cool. One thing at a time, though, I'm already <laughs> trying to figure out how to manage the stuff I already promised to do. Okay, so I really like this overall shape here for the gun. So let me try that. It actually matches the logo, so I bet I could probably. You know what? Let's do this. Where's the logo? Where's the logo? Is this it? For some reason, the, the file is called asset, so whatever. That's weird. And we go and do. A little outlining, not quite tracing, I guess, but a little outline. And then we can also do maybe the, yeah, you know, maybe the reverse. Yeah, there we go. Now that line just keep going like this. And we can make it a little more sleek. Boy, I still don't know what the reference was uh that you you brought up kathy with the with this gun what's, what's what's that from okay okay here it's a sci-fi thriller anime called psychopaths oh okay so that actually was the title i thought that was just part of the uh the name of the gun or something i kind of like this right here yeah something for sights 
at this point, admittedly, guys, I'm kind of just basing everything off of the rule of cool. But like, I'm not a connoisseur on weapons <laughs> like this. Some people are. I remember there was one kid in my school. He used to draw guns all the time um, and drew them very accurately. Um, he, was, he was a safe guy. Don't, don't worry. But he, he was really studying them for some reason. I wonder whatever happened to him. Um, super complex so i think now i kind of like the idea of kind of breaking things up in pieces like this just like the logo so i wonder if we can do something like this i don't know it's an orange we can have a little laser right here maybe I don't think it needs a laser, but it could have one. <laughs> mm, nah, never mind. I take it back. I think I want to pull this down, though. So, laser. Just have the fire come out from right here. Okay. Let's see. This one looks nice and futuristic too. I kind of like the way this handle looks. Psychopath was so good. I wish there was more episodes. Kathy and I have such similar tastes in anime. <laughs> it's a quality taste. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Jordan, I think that's working. Which one? You, you got to be more specific. <laughs> I'm glad you think it's working, though. I am really glad. Oh, you know what? Let me save this. Because uh, accents do happen. The artwork. Let's go to my props folder. Uh, taser gun. Cipher. The one you've been working on. Okay. Well, I'm glad you think that's working. I'm glad you think it's working. Let's do something a little bit more. No, I don't know about that, actually. I was going to see if I can streamline that, but I don't know if I like it so much. I kind of like the dramatic like shape like that. I think that's looking really cool. I might be able to mimic that a little more in the back. Let's see if I can kind of do a little reverse. Even something like as simple as this, I think it would look really cool. And we can emphasize that a little bit. It might be a little much. I don't think it's be that intense. But yeah, something like that is looking pretty cool. And then let's go back in the orange. Let's just see how we can emphasize some things. Okay, now this feels just a little short. So let me extend this out a little bit more. I need someone who knows a lot about weapons to kind of confirm <laughs> if uh, if this is a reasonable weapon, like it's concerning the weight and all this stuff. Because there's a lot of things that, you know, as someone who's not an expert in this area, you know, you have questions about, and I don't really have the, I mean, I technically do have the luxury of time, I guess, but just not during the live stream to do a ton of research on how 
guns should be. And plus, this isn't even the most major prop um, in the whole series or something like that. This thing really shows up for only a couple of panels. Um, and that's it. So we'll do like maybe two more sketches and we'll see what what's working, what's not. I'm kind of interested in this one, this yellow one I picked up here. That one's got an interesting look to it. So let's see. I kind of like where the, the handle is for the trigger. That's just kind of in the middle like that. So the trigger is there. Boom, 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 boom. Handle. It's kind of got an edge there. I actually think having that slanted angle for that bottom edge is going to work really well. Okay, this algar I drew. It's super chunky. It's kind of cute. You got to post that in the Discord then. I want to see it. You want to put a sight on that gun? Um, I don't know if I need a sight because it's more like close range. Um, especially for the comic, it's more close range. There's not, they're not snipes, you know. Um, I think the grip handle should be thicker so there's more grip to it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, the top left one, I worry about weight distribution with such a narrow handle. I don't know if that's the right terminology. I grew up around guns, but only shot a pistol once and don't currently own or shoot guns. There are right-handed guns, and you think about where your safety is. You usually place it where the thumb can extend out. I think a revolver, taser could be kind of cool. Oh, man, you guys come up with all the info. Okay, hold on. If it's an energy weapon, it could look completely different. You don't need a barrel and a trigger. I think the issue is that it still needs to be recognizable as a gun. Fair enough. Okay, so... Um, yeah, it's more of an energy thing. It's not like shooting bullets. Um, so Chris is right in that. But I will definitely thicken out the handle. That makes sense. Got to be able to hold it. Matter of fact, where's my hand? Here we go. Let's just scale it. Okay. So that's looking a little bit better. I do kind of like what I was doing on this one, where the angle is kind of going down like this. This kind of reminds me of laser tag, <laughs> almost. Yeah, like that, that feels, feels like it's getting better. Let's extend this a little bit more. And then I have to, I gotta do something about the placement of the drawings. Okay, that's there. I still need to bring this down a little bit more. Okay, something like that. like this yeah I want to know how this thing is it looks like it's for two hands oh there's a screen here that's pretty cool I know there's a screen I could have a screen why not I could have a little screen right here I can totally copy them what are they gonna say what are they gonna do to me what are they gonna do Someone here is an industrial designer based on this drawing. Okay, let's go back to the yellow one I was working on. My main complaint about small handguns is that the handle are almost always too small. Okay, for something that's more like a laser, I expect it to be lighter than a regular gun. Do you want it to operate like a pistol or like a taser? Taser, not laser. Wait. Taser, not laser. Oh, um, so I'm tr it's it's a how do I put it? It's like an energy blast gun, but the effect is that it tases people. Um, it's not bullets. Like he, he he's not shooting to kill. Let's say that's not what this gun is for. Um, it's more like electric shocks, like a taser. But because it's more like an energy gun, Chris makes a good point. There's certain things that can be more made up. I 
I could do like the cricket from Men in Black <laughs> and just have, wait, wait how did that gun look? You guys know, you guys know this one? The little cricket, <laughs> this thing. Um, stun gun, there you go. There you go. Stun gun is a good way to put it. Who owns the stun gun? Uh, this will be a guard. This will be a guard who owns this. It's hard to answer some of these questions without like spoiling it. Well, let me turn this heater off. It's burning me up. Um, Uh, I still kind of like the feel of this one. Yeah. Okay, this should probably be pushed out a little bit more. social bliss, admittedly. Oh. Something like this. I kind of like this handle that's kind of connected. It definitely changed the look of the whole thing. But I don't know how I feel about where that trigger was placed. I thought it would be cool, but maybe not. Something like this. What's that thing? I think there's a gun in like Black Panther. Or like a some weapon that Shuri has. Um, it's not this. Maybe it's Nakia who has it instead. Or am I just, maybe I'm just making stuff up, actually. Yeah, I might be making stuff up. <laughs> or, oh, wait, what about Star-Lord? No. Let's see. This actually looks kind of, kind of cool. I always like the look of this gun. Gotta love the cricket, right? I was streaming a little behind you. Oh, <laughs> no worries, no worries. Yeah, if you see Men in Black, you know about the cricket. That was like the most powerful weapon, the smallest, uh, smallest little body. I actually use that as an example in my design classes sometimes when I talk about like expectations, for example, because part of what makes the cricket so fun is the expectation is that it's a weak gun. They make a joke about it but because it's so tiny right like will smith's character he's like man i want one of these bigger ones and it's like no you get the tiny little cricket but that thing literally shoots you back you know 50 feet which is incredibly inefficient as a weapon in my opinion though it's funny um so yeah let's see if we can take a little from star lord over here I'm gonna have to stretch this out at the very end. It's not to scale, I think. It would be kind of cool to see like little uh, elect electric paths kind of coming and forming. I like that Star. Oh, I like that Star Lord's gun has a little prongs like a taser. Has a shape that kind of echoes. Wait, what? <laughs> I like that Star Lord's gun shape. Kind of reminds me of those prongs some tasers have. Yeah, I like that as well. I like that. Hmm. Hmm. 
I should number these. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. Kind of like this orange circle here. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on these sketches so far? Any of them jumping at you? I know Kathy seems to like number one, but I am open to feedback. So let me know what you guys think or any parts that I should kind of combine. I'm at a stage right now where I'm like, you know, I probably could combine stuff and uh, figure out something that looks kind of cool. Oh, and yes, Megan with the reminders says, don't forget to like the stream if you haven't. Yes, please. If you have not already, please like the stream because my self-esteem is your responsibility. So if I go and I look at the stream and I don't have any likes, I'm going to start feeling bad about myself. But if you guys give it, there's five people on the stream, not a big audience. But if all five of you like it, that would mean the world to me. And I will automatically start feeling better about myself. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's save this real quick. Let's see, the parts that I like. Let me start with what I like. I really am feeling this right here. Um, I kind of like this angle. I'm liking this kind of circle element. This even could work, at least maybe just this portion of the orange design on the bottom. Manette says, I like one and two. I think mixing one and five. Okay, one, two, and five. All right, all right. Let's see. What part of um, five, Amanda, just out of curiosity? I can make my references a little smaller because we need more space. Okay. All right, so let's take one, let's take two and five, mix them all up. Okay, let me take off the hands and the circles. Okay. You can still work with the handle, I think, from this one, potentially. All of this, I really liked. For me, knowing nothing about guns, too, looks perfectly good to go as is. Okay, cool. You're probably right. Like, all these are probably on some level good to go. But does it is it shadow boxers, though? That's the thing. That's the question. That's the thing we all have to discover and decide. Is it shadow boxers? So you don't want to have that, that part of the handle. Hmm. Oh, snap. Look who it is. Mark is on. What's up, dude? How are you at four, five o'clock in the morning? Mark's. Oh, I thought it was, I was about to be like, Mark's her three. What is Mark her? <laughs> but I see now. I see what it says. Yeah, dude, the party doesn't really start until Mark shows up. So thank you for popping on, my guy. Hope you're having a good beginning of your day so far. Um. Kind of liking this. What do you guys think of this iteration that I'm working on? Oh, by the way, Mark, since you just popped on, we're working on a taser gun for the comic or a stun gun, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. It's not going to be named necessarily in the 
comic, but we'll know what it is. <laughs> Assuming that the hand is actually big enough for this. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna have to scale this up in order for this to work, or scale the hand down. This is an approximate hand size. Mana says it feels heavy. Uh. Hmm. Let me see. At the scale, it definitely feels heavy. But if I had it like this size, maybe if the handle were a little longer, that would help redistribute. Who's using the gun as Nahara Dangerous? Uh, well, they do have a police force. It's a guard. It's a guard. So, yeah, this is going to be for the uh, I guess police force. You know what? It feels... It's interesting. Like, this back section feels too heavy. Whereas this, which is, I think, the cooler side of it, feels too small. So, I got to find a balance for that. Um, maybe it's... Maybe I should use the handle from two. Yeah, I should do that. Let's try it. That doesn't feel too bad. I don't think that feels bad. Can scale that a little bit. It's still kind of like this more dramatic angle. Maybe I could still include that somehow. Hmm. How does it stun people? Laser, taser, or shockwave? Yes. <laughs> yeah, kind of all the above, actually. I guess it depends on the setting, but it's it's more like an energy weapon. It's not so much like battery operated or, um, you know, you're using a charger. It's it's combining their powers with a gun. Let's just put it like that. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think this is feeling okay though. Let's bring this back. I could still have this more dramatic angle here for the screen, because I definitely took the idea from Urbance, because it's cool. Um, let's say something like this. Let me take one. Let me take this reference real quick. Or actually, better yet, this one. Let's just see how the scale feels. What I can change to adjust. Of course, the background is all black. Okay, I might need to remove. Oh, geez. Um. Oh, 
Okay, let's do this instead. We might have to do a little magnet. I guess in the in retrospect, I probably could have just like traced <laughs> traced how this uh, looks and just gone with that in terms of the size and the scale. Clearly, I have to work on uh, working smarter, not harder, which is kind of tough when you're like when you work at an art school. And when you went to art school and everyone wants you to use the the longest method possible, it's suddenly like, oh yeah, there are shortcuts to this. I don't have to do it the long way. Cause that's really how concept art is. You just, you do things as quickly as you possibly can and you be as efficient as possible. Okay. So at this scale, Okay, so let's try this. Let's, uh, let's change up the handle a little bit. And let's raise this section up just a touch like that. something like this maybe rule of cool yeah exactly it's all about the rule of cool <laughs> that's all it's about that's all we care about does it look cool is it shadow boxers will it throw people off because that's the one thing i don't want to have happen is people like reading it or watching it and being like yeah what the heck <laughs> this don't make no sense the trigger is where the the you know everything's supposed to blast out like if the trigger were here or you know if it shot out of the butt of the gun or something you know just little stuff like that you never want to have people thrown off too much okay so that's actually not looking too bad i did like that circle um element found in the other guns so maybe we could have maybe we could have that like right here Uh, what you guys think? How do you feel about this? I think it's definitely getting there. Could probably even extend it just slightly. Looks <laughs> wait. Wait, what? Looks like a stylized earless horse. A stylized, I'm trying to see it now. Probably not good that I'm trying to look at it. A stylized earless horse? Does anyone else see that? I'm, I'm, I am, um, I'm not seeing it admittedly. Uh, I, I yeah I'm, I'm trying I'm really trying I don't see the earless horse that's funny though okay the orange patch is the eye the trigger looks like, the, wait, the orange patch is the eye. The trigger looks like the reins. Wait, the muzzle is the muzzle? I feel like you need to design this now. <laughs> I, I still don't see it. You know what, you know what, Mark? How about this? Why don't you do, why don't you take a screenshot and just draw over it 
the way that you see it and post in the discord and, and we'll take a look because i I'm, I'm not seeing it and you said maybe it's because i'm half i'm still half asleep that's possible i've i've i remember a couple of weeks ago first off i never remember my dreams i have a hard time remembering the things i dream but one time a couple of weeks ago i had a dream and i woke up and i was like this is the most epic story i've ever had this is gonna be better than shadow boxes and i wrote down everything i could remember i read it like two hours later it was the most incoherent <laughs> just process of thought that you could ever imagine i had no idea what it was about there's no main character there's no side there's no b plot there's no side characters or anything it was just weird it was very weird um so yeah strange things happen when you're half asleep okay so unless someone says something i'm kind of liking this admittedly i'm kind of feeling it if you don't then if you have a suggestion i'm all ears i want to try a quick three quarter um sketch with a black brush and just seeing how it kind of comes together a little bit Hey, cool things can happen when you're half asleep. Unexpected neuron connections and such. Actually, now that I think about it, now we're talking about this, Shadow Boxers was kind of created from a dream. Um, I think I might have mentioned that to you guys before. But yeah, it was partially created from a dream that I had when I was like 14. And I wrote some stuff down. I don't remember it being particularly interesting. It certainly didn't have anything that's in it now. Uh, with the exception of the characters of Javen, who is currently Javen, and Kayla. Um, originally, actually, they were siblings. Now it's Atana and Kayla who are siblings. Um, but yeah, that was, that was, I think, the only thing that stayed. Even the title of it has, has changed. Um, okay, so let's see. Get the safety here. Okay, then everything comes out of here. Little screen right here still. Yeah, not too shabby, all right? It's not the worst thing in the world. I do need a good view of uh, what the front side would look like, though. Like, I could use some. Probably make this a little less sharp. Little, little things here. Let me switch up the song. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think this is kind of a cool way to show the powers it has right here with these little indicators like this. Boom, boom. All right, so there we go. There's our taser gun. There it is. No one spoke up and said that they didn't like it, so I'm going to assume that you guys think it's cool. <laughs> Either that or there's a significant lag on my part. But I don't think that's the case. It doesn't seem like that's happening. Um, okay, so I think we're in a pretty good spot with this. I think probably what I'll end up doing is uh, I'm probably going to go and clean up this design and do like a full orthographic just for my own purposes because i might reuse the taser gun at some point because there's going to be guards you know throughout the story of different types you know um and consistency is never a bad thing 
unless it's you know you're consistently doing a bad thing you know there's that but in this situation consistency is good it's good all right so we got that now the next object that we talked about or prop to design was Jabin needs a new necklace now there is let me see where's his design okay so you guys are used to seeing him with this uh white necklace here there is a reason for that in the story i'm not going to reveal that because i prefer to keep that kind of kind of under wraps until you guys can read it but i do have to change this it's going to be more of a blue color kind of like the blue that's on his jacket so we're going to open up a new file and actually i might be able to get away with um reusing some old sketches so sketches i did from years ago so let's just see if that is able to to work um all right some of the text I'm going to close the window for now just because some of the text is spoilery. So I'm just going to pull this up and give me a second to pull this up. Okay. All right. We're in business. Oh, wait. That's the wrong. There we go. Remember, everyone, it's not laziness. It's efficiency. That's right. It is efficiency. So. So these are different versions of the of Javen's current necklace, but what I can do is I can actually take some of these and still use them for my own purposes. Now, first things first, let me grab a Javen drawing just to see what um, what works with him. I guess we could open this file up right here, and we're going to take we're going to take one of his drawings. Uh, merge, merge them right here. Okay. I probably shouldn't have pulled out the six point turnaround for this because now these guys are there. All right, cool. So yeah, it's got a new prop. We got design. Um, now this one, this is going to be interesting. So we can do quite a few things with this. Let's go back to the props. Um, there's a lot of um, ideas I can pull up. It's basically going to look like this, but I want to make it feel like Javen, like something that is, uh, how, would I, how would I describe it? I don't know, something that feels more like hip hoppy or something more crafted together that almost like he made it. Like this feels too neat, but I do like the color. Um, and it feels very, it doesn't feel uh, strong enough for his character. Uh, something like this would even work. Wow, this looks like the exact <laughs> reference for um, this one right here. You guys can see that. You got, can you tell? Check Discord. Oh, okay, let's go on Discord, take a, two two minute break for the discord chat let's see let's see uh right, come on cool. oh my gosh <laughs> more maybe more dog like than the horse like that is funny yeah that is definitely you being sleepy my guy um they don't their mouths their bodies aren't even shaped like this <laughs> this is amazing though it makes me think of doberman though doberman with laser nose that is hilarious maybe i'll just have to create an animal with that shape and say they they took inspiration from it Oops. all right so something more crude even this would be fine i guess Yeah, this looks good. Something that feels more disorganized. I actually kind of, you know what? I'm kind of liking these more triangle um, or lopsided triangle shapes. Cause this, the goal of the white one um, here is, is meant to kind of be like a perfect uh, aesthetically pleasing diamond almost. 
Whereas this one here is meant to be a little bit more, like slightly more crude. I've always kind of designed uh, the sketches to have it be more like a square, like a square necklace with the, the diamond in there. But uh, yeah, let's see. Yes, maybe. I actually kind of like this because it's the, like the opposite shape. This actually could work. Yeah, I'm digging this. So as the one that Javen's wearing right now, those are primarily uh, top heavy. The, cannot complete your quest. Scratch discs are full. Ugh, I hate when they do that. I hate the scratch discs full thing. Does anyone know how to change that? Because I've been trying to figure out for years and I never know what to do. Um, I always forget when I do figure it out and it comes up rather frequently. So yeah, it's it's annoying. It's a guard dog. Yes, it could be the canines. It could be the <laughs> it could be the, the police canines. Oh my goodness. Excellent. See, just just like uh, Megan said, cool things can happen when you're half asleep. So, Mark, good call. Good call. Um, okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, though, the way that Javen's necklace currently is, it's like this. Whereas the one I just pulled, it's kind of got this shape going on, which I think, I think symbolically is really, really cool. So, let's just start. Let's start with that. Let's see. Kind of got this ring in here. Yeah, I know the this neck piece is way too small. It's it's not really the the point right now. <laughs> but I could add some some different beads and things. It's like those four-legged robot dogs that can't be stopped. Those things are nightmarish. I I hate those things. Like what are th those who made those like the Boston dogs, I think. No, not those. Boston robot dog. I know. I feel like Boston's somehow in the name. Yeah, Boston Dynamics. That's what it is. These guys, these freaking things are terrifying. Oh my gosh! If you guys don't know what these are, look it up because this is like a nightmare. It's got it, it walks on all terrain. Um, you know, like I think it can walk in snow. I'm I'm sure it can walk on ice. I don't know what happens if it walks in water. Like, I don't know if it can like be underwater and still work. Uh, I'm sure they figured it out though. Um, yeah, it has guns on it and you can't push it over. Like if you try and kick it or if you try and push it, it'll somehow either, it's either too strong to push over or um, it'll somehow lift itself back up. Let me see. Enables mobile manipulation for tasks like opening doors or grasping objects. Yeah, that's scary. Provides regulated power and an Ethernet port for easy payload integration. Oh, how is it doing that? Spot cord provides dedicated processing for applications requiring on robot computation. Spot cam. Oh yeah, it's got a camera on it. Yeah, that's scary. It's scary, scarier than this red dog here. This one on the right, look like looking like Goddard got mad. <laughs> By the way, have you guys seen the new Jimmy Neutron designs that a fan did? It's really, really fun. They reimagined it as like a 2D show. Look at these designs. It's so cool. Jimmy's got a little hoodie. Goddard looking dope. I like Sheen's design a lot. I think that's probably my favorite. Cindy got braces on her. Libby's living her best life. Carl, still the same. I don't remember Betty. Remember, is, is who's Betty? Was she the girl that, um, that Jimmy had a crush on? I can't remember. Nicolette, Nick, yeah, do with the lollipop all the time. Bulby, oh my gosh, Bulby, he was great. <laughs> and then mom and dad. Yeah, this is, I would watch this show. I would totally watch this show if it came out. Oh, 
what is this? This actually looks kind of cool. Jimmy Neutron, boy genius. Yeah, he he totally looks like a 17 year old here. Got the square jawline. Looks like he's about to get some stubble in here. The hair choice is interesting. He's actually a handsome lad. I, I he's a handsome dude. I could see I could see Cindy having a crush on him. I could see it. And the the Butch Hartman version. Anyway, let's let's stick back to <laughs> let's let's go back to <laughs> one thing at a time. Um, let's see. Uh, when ChatGPT gets mad at us for asking it to do our homework one too many times, it's going to hack these dogs and it will be all over. Honestly, I can see that happening. That's pretty terrifying. It was his mother's necklace and a betrothal necklace made by Grandpa. That's what I'm guessing. Are you talking about Javen's story? Since we mentioned Grandpa, that was totally a core reference. Um, his mother's necklace. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Where's the tab? Hmm. Okay, let's get back to the sketches. That's one. And then just for the sake of ease, let's change up the colors a bit. So we know what we're working with. then there's always the I, I like this shape a lot from my previous iteration the only thing is it's too similar to this so uh, I wonder if there's a different way to play it play it up like actually let's see what happens if I just do this Probably should be drawn with more straight lines here. I will say this though, Amanda, it's not a betrothal necklace. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> Someone actually brought something up about uh, Cora the other day. I'll I'll get my water in a second. Um, but it was really interesting. People noticed that she has a betrothal necklace, but who's she married to? Dude never shows up or gal. I don't know. I have no idea who she's married to. But they brought they put that as part of her design. You would think we would get to see her significant other at some point. Where where they at? Where they at? Um, let me actually take this Jave and we don't need all that. It looks like a smiley face. You talking about the one I just did? <laughs> this one here? Oh, you're talking about <laughs> you're talking about Kaya. Oh my goodness! It, one, it looks like a smiley face too. I bet she made it for herself because she's a strong, independent woman. Honestly, though, it's possible. I actually did see an article recently um, of someone who married themselves. Uh, the person was had an outfit that was half a gown or like or like a wedding dress, and the other was a suit. And it was a uh, like the person had half a mustache short hair on one side, long hair on the other side, and married themselves. Um, 
I don't know what the benefit of that is. I really don't. Um, but hey, you know what? If you're happy uh, as a one person family like that, then hey, what? All I'm saying is it couldn't be me. <laughs> I get annoyed at myself sometimes. I couldn't, ima I couldn't imagine marrying myself like that. That's just a bizarre state. Like, how do you even phrase that? Like, how do you, <laughs> what do you even do? Cora's necklace. No, no, not not Cora. Kaya. Kaya is uh, Ang and Katara's daughter. Okay, that that deserves at least two steps there. Hmm. The divorce is going to be messy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That matter of fact, can I find the photo? Let me see. Oh wait, there's a term for it. Wait a second. I didn't know there was a whole term. It's called polygamy. Polygamy is the act of marrying yourself. Reasons for choosing self-marriage might include wanting to affirm your relationship with yourself or to express how being single doesn't mean being incomplete or lonely. That is fascinating. I didn't know that. Um, has anyone heard of that term before? I can't find the photo. It's not showing up here. Has... <laughs> Does anyone know a polygamist? Does anyone know? Uh, oh, what's up, dude? Thank you for coming on. Just got up. Wait, Javen's getting a redesign. Ah, okay. So this is uh, not quite a a subtle redesign for the comic. Um, just for the comic, and there's a story reason behind it. So uh, you you guys will all understand why. But yeah, Javen's necklace for the Cipher comic is going to be blue. Um, so Mark, don't think. Oh, no, Mark, I'm sorry. Uh, Mike, don't don't think that that means you have to redo the, the fan art that you've done, which is super awesome, by the way. I think everyone here or most people here who have seen in the Discord uh, Mike's work, please take a look at it if you haven't seen it. Give him a follow on Instagram and stuff. Um, but yeah, don't think it, you have to change that. It's just a quick little thing for story reasons. But don't don't you worry. Javen's going to primarily be looking like how you see him here throughout the project pretty sure that goes against the def very definition of marriage <laughs> yeah i i would agree i would agree with you kathili um he's going super saiyan said by someone who's never seen dragon ball <laughs> that's awesome um yeah it's yeah that's so fascinating soligamy wow has anyone ever heard of that before I brought it up? Like that word? <laughs> it's just, I, I can't get over that. I can't get over it. Okay, so another option is having something that looks closer to this, which is the one I was using kind of before in all the sketches. And I've designed the string to be more interesting. Like this one has beads and stuff on it. I'll definitely have something that makes it feel uh, feel more like it's really cool. But right now, I'm just kind of thinking about shapes. I'm so excited for you guys to find out the reason why I'm redesigning this. <laughs> it's going to be so cool. It's going to be really cool. I kind of like how this is looking. I think I did this version at some point, though. This looks too. Like this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, you know what? Ordinarily, I would do more, a lot more sketches. Part, well, part of it is I've done so many of them up here, but considering his character, I keep going back to this idea of it being the exact opposite shape. Um, yeah. I'm so curious to know how you will feel when you see the characters in the comic, if they will match your perceptions or no. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I, uh, there are times when I see people like draw the characters or they make assumptions on the characters or they talk to me and I'm like, ooh, either you're going to be very surprised or very disappointed. I don't know which one it is because <laughs> most times people don't get it. It's very fun. Um, it's being single with extra steps. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. What, what do you put on your taxes? Like, do you put like you're filing as a married couple or as a single person? I don't know. Well, I do know that Inside Job made an episode making fun of the concept, so I didn't know it was something anyone took seriously, though. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Uh, apparently, people are taking it real seriously. Like, the fact that there's a term for it, there's a term for it. And what's funny, I looked it up and it's mostly like either one person in a wedding gown um, or uh, or just a couple uh, or sorry, not a couple, uh, just a couple that is taking a regular picture and they have the wrong like or a different description. Although this person. Oh, wow. Check this out. 77 year old woman gets married to herself. See the pics. 77 year old plans her dream wedding to herself. Oh my gosh. Lindsay. Oh, that's the author of Lindsay Lowe. Dorothy Dottie Fideli. May 13th in Ohio. Wow. I wonder what it's like to officiate a wedding like that. I'm <laughs> just, I'm so curious now. There's so many questions I have. Um, I'm gonna be surprised, I think, Megan. Yeah, you might be surprised. You might be surprised. Some some theories are actually really close. Like there's this kid at my church um, who knows about my project and he's constantly asking me about it. And uh, sometimes and he's he's 12, I think. And <laughs> he'll always be like, you should have da 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 da. And there are times where I'm like, dude, you just gave, you just told me my own plot, like, but you didn't even know. I was like, hmm, I'll consider that. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> you know, um, I, I love it, though, because imagination just runs wild. It's great. This is actually not bad either. Or can I do something that mimics the shape of his... Uh pocket right here like I'm looking at this I guess that's the same thing as this really yeah all right I'm a, I'm a I'm just cut it out because I think I know what I want to do for this I'm gonna take this basic design right here maybe add a little bit more uniqueness into the shape so probably com combining these two um, and then give it like a little top case thing, whatever that's going to be. Let's make it. Can actually have it wrapped like this. that's the ring wait let me go back do you take you to be together forever till death do you part just like it's always been <laughs> yeah that's probably exactly what it sounds like do you harold take harold yourself to be your lawfully wedded would you even call yourself a husband or a wife i don't actually even know honestly i really don't know just want every character to look confident um Oh, oh, oh yeah, a pizza, a pizza pendant, a pizza pendant, pizza pendant, pizza pendant. That's a fun word to say. Pizza pendant. What's the 
Little Caesars things like eat the pizza, right? <laughs> um, actually, I probably should have done a different tab. Uh, let's get one that is for men if possible. Let's see. This is cool. That's also pretty cool. The cool thing is that I can always reuse these for later. I actually kind of like this shape too. Right now, I'm just kind of finding it. The little thing here, have a bead right here. Kind of like how this is coming out. Looks more handcrafted, which is good. It's what I want. And then I could probably put a couple beads here. Yeah, make that a little smaller. Kind of cool going back to the original sketch of how this was looking and seeing how much has changed in this project. Oh snap, what's up dude? Thank you for coming on. Now I'm hungry for pizza. Pizza is the best man. Pizza is great. Dang, now I am too. You know what? Pizza Hut, Domino's, any pizza place, if you guys are seeing this video, because of the reference, I'm inspiring people to go get pizza. I feel like I should have some sort of, uh, well, what's the term? What's the term? Uh, commission? Yeah, maybe a commission fee or something like that. Okay, settle down, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ironically, Amanda, you're the one who brought up the pizza. <laughs> Pizza pals. Yeah, something kind of jagged like this. It still kind of mimics this uh, shape of the pocket just a little bit. It also kind of mimics a, the letter J. Yeah, something like that looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm vibing with this. I'm liking it. Now, do I still want to have like these straps though? That's the next question. What do you guys think? Straps? No straps to the design. Yeah. Hmm. I don't even know if it really needs it. I mean, I'm open, I'm, I'm open to hear what you guys think, but I don't, I don't know if it needs it. I 
think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. Let's go in, let's merge this. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh shoot, I merged that into the background. That's not what I wanted at all. I think I hit merge visible by accident. <laughs> Wrong layer! I like it both ways. Maybe having the straps not be black will help it make it look less heavy visually. That's a good point. I like the straps. Megan brings up a good point about the color. Yeah, that's fair. That's totally fair. Uh, okay, so we'll try it with the straps then. Here, yeah, let's merge. Or actually, we could. Wait, where's the layer? Oh, there we go. All right. I'm gonna keep this away. All right. All right, let's see how we can get this to look. I remember when I was designing the other necklace, the white one, and I was so focused on getting the uh, the casing of it right, it really needed to, I really needed to make sure that design was pr properly completed. I actually remember asking uh, Megan and another friend who comes on here, Bernice, you might've seen her pop on, um, asking them for feedback. This had to be like in 20, what year would this have been? 2019, I guess? Yeah, yeah, I think 2019. I don't know if you guys remember that, OMG, yeah, I remember how many times we went over this. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it was pretty intense. But now you know, I mean, you know the whole story, Megan, so you could tell me whether or not you thought it was worth it, because I think it makes sense. Um, is this pendant necklace important to the story, his backstory? Yes, it is immensely important. I have not revealed exactly why, but it is. Let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. This is the logo. Okay. This is the logo for Shadow Boxers. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, that's there for a reason. <laughs> that is there for a reason. So, yeah. That's all I'll say until the comment comes out about that. Yeah, it wasn't just some artistic flair that had, that had real purpose behind it. It is artistic though, and I do like it. This is just come kind of over here. So worth it, it looks so good now. Thank you, Megan, I appreciate that. The constant struggle to not spoil your project must eat at your soul, can relate. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very difficult. <laughs> It is immensely difficult. It, Cause I, I mean, I could sit here, I could do a whole stream and just tell you guys everything and just be like, yeah. And so in this, in this season, we're gonna do this and this and this and this. I, I could literally read it to you cause I've written it all down. But what fun is there in that? <laughs> you know, what fun is there? I'd rather you guys just experience it. And it's tough because, you know, I do streams every week and uh, it gets to a point where there's only so much more I can say without destroying it until the thing actually comes out. So yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Okay. Then we'll have a little hole here. Could probably have gotten a cleaner brush that wasn't like a rough pencil for this, but it's okay.
Let's see. I'm curious to see if people will figure stuff out based on what is shown in the cipher. I was going to say a little something earlier and I was like, nope, that could spoil something. <laughs> that could apply to anything in the story, but I'm referring to the necklace specifically in this instance. Yeah, there's, I'm really curious. You, you know what we should do? Well, I think I might do actually. Before it comes out, after the comic is done, but before I release it, I want to hear your guys' theories on like everything in regards to shadow boxers um like i want to know what you think is going on with javen or asim or ishnu or chef fufu or whatever like i'm really curious to see what um your expectations are and i think it could be really fun just to just read through them um you know especially because um I want to surprise you guys. Like, I'm my my hope is that none of you get it, or only very few of you do. Like, I I remember hearing um, what's his name, Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things. There was an idea to create a sequel to to the show Stranger Things, and apparently, of all the people, Finn Wolfhard guessed what it was. I still don't know what what it is, but apparently he guessed it pretty accurately and they're like dang well don't tell anybody all right let's do this this is a good little trick for whenever you're doing something like a strap you just kind of uh use a stroke layer and put the outside lines black and then you can select the inside of it and erase it well, actually, first, you got to rasterize it first. I'm sorry. Rasterize layer stop, and then you can erase. Bam. Now, I don't need to do those double lines. I do the same thing in um, Clip Studio sometimes. Okay, and then for the beads, I could do the same exact thing. Let's get the stroke on and then color this white. You can have a, a certain similarity between the current necklace that Javen's wearing, the white one and uh, this one that we're designing now because there's already three beads on there. rise and then get rid of all the white spaces up oh, that that didn't do what I wanted it to okay Chef Future is secretly the antagonist and vows to kill Javen when he didn't like his soup. <laughs> Did we change his name to Chef Future? Or uh, Chef Future makes food with per Percocet? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Megan, do you remember when we made that video for, uh, for Michael and we used the uh, Mask Off song? That's... <laughs> <laughs> it was future. Um, I make it more asymmetrical, maybe not three on each or varying size. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I, I met Fufu, Foo Foo, but future sounds more evil. It does. To match the asymmetry of, of the prison, that's a good point. I will say, not spoiler, the cipher is canon, and we are fans of stories where there's hidden Easter eggs and foreshadowing and stuff like that. Yes, that is true. Um, the, the cipher is canon. It is canon. 100%. But Megan brings up an excellent, excellent point. So let's uh, let's address that. Yeah, let me just undo a few things. Actually, might want to change something up real quick. 
make the strings a little on a, a little smaller so it doesn't get interrupted with the beads. Yeah, the reason we're doing the cipher was actually Megan's suggestion. Um, the the whole idea is basically because I am not used to making comics. I'm more of an animation guy, so I understand that world. And, and comics is completely different. And so the idea was if we can um, do something that's canon, it'll still get the story out there. And it will also get some practice for you know the best way to to do things and figure out what the world looks like if people are interested and it'll help me practice my writing chops before you know going into the big series so that's why there's gonna be five pieces to it um but they're technically it's technically not episode one like that it's more like 0 0.1 <laughs> but yeah i already know what's gonna happen the first like official episode i already know but uh, it's gonna be real, real fun. It's gonna take a while to, to finish that up. Okay. So there's that string here. And then so Megan suggests different size beads. I think that's an excellent point. Let's get a large one here. One, two, and maybe a small one, and maybe a big one. Something like that. Yeah, that'll work, I think. Let's get more. Actually, who says a bead has to be a perfectly round shape? It could be a little lopsided, All right? Although when I draw it in the comic, it probably will be perfectly circled because I'll probably forget <laughs> little details like that. Okay, let's rasterize. Okay, and then... Now let's get the string. Okay, merge these layers. Bam, there we go. And I can obviously come back and clean up a couple of things here and there. All right. Uh, is this the line? First, let's do this. Let's color this the right, the right thing. The most essential aspect of it. Clipping mask. And then this needs to have a little bit of a glow to it. So let's just take care of that now while I'm thinking about it. Do a little Gaussian blur. Turn that effect down just a little bit. Doesn't need to be something super major. All right, and then the rest of it, um, we can do, what, what's this grayish color here? Oh yeah, I should probably quickly match that. Um, blue. out because there's a hole there and then the straps let's see what I missed um, all these are awesome Jordan I hope you get more support viewers in the future my friend I really want to do more fan arts 
but I'll be starring some new comics works as we discuss in Discord. No worries, dude. I appreciate the support. Um, and hey, hopefully I do get some more viewers. That'll be great. All the best. We'll definitely be busy for the next few months. I'll try to do some fan art if I can. It, honestly, dude, don't even stress about it. Um, but we would love for you to continue, you know, hanging out on the Discord, coming on to the live stream. Seriously. Um, okay, I go, no, have a great one. That's all right. We're, we're about to wrap up anyway. I got that mark of our, I know who future is. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, now I wish I didn't know who future was. I, I agree. Um, I wish I didn't know sometimes. Yeah. Some disturbing stuff I hear about that individual, but whatever. Okay. So this. something's up with the line there we go it's like why are all these white spots here it was something else okay so maybe we'll do like a like a deep brown for the strap something like this that's not deep enough let's try that maybe put that behind it yeah and then some of the beads, we can have those just be random colors, I guess. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Something along those lines. Still not satisfied with this color just yet. Seems a little too saturated. A little too light. Oh, wow, I didn't save this either. All right, let me, uh, okay. Let me see. Mark, I just saw the picture you posted of the cat. Very cute. Tell tell him tell him I said what's up. All right, guys. I think I think we're just about there. I mean, I could change up the color of these large beads, maybe. Maybe something a little bit more on the blue side. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. For the purposes of the comic, I think this is fine. So um, I think we'll probably end it up right about here. There's no design that I need that's going to be able to be done in the next six minutes. Um, but this is what we worked on today. We worked on Javen's blue, uh, blue necklace and story wise there is a significant reason to this i will not be revealing that reason obviously uh and then we also worked on this taser gun here uh no one said anything about it as far as whether or not they like it or, or dislike it or think it's awful or something um but i'm just gonna stick with this because i think it's pretty cool um does the pendant always glow uh honestly <laughs> honestly it's supposed to but i keep forgetting to do it oftentimes but um the rules on that are a little inconsistent i think i gotta figure that out but yeah usually usually they glow at least for like the effect um so uh so yeah anyway guys i want to thank you all for joining the stream like megan said if you have not already please like the video share with your friends get them interested in the joe mcfo show and shadow boxers because i have a lot a lot a lot to share with you guys uh but for now i'm out of here i'll see you next time Peace.